find the exact value of tangent of 75 degrees using the tangent of a sum identity. So remember when we do the sum we need to find numbers for 75 that add up to 75 that are pretty. So like 30, 60, 90, 45. Well I know that right off the bat I'm like oh, got it it's tangent of 30 plus 45. Those are both really pretty numbers. Now in order to do that, remember this one's a little different from what we've done with cosine and sine. It's not as straightforward and easy to remember. So the sum is actually going to equal the tangent of 30 plus the tangent of 45 and then that's all going to be divided by 1 minus the tangent of 30 times the tangent of 45. So now I need to know what each one of those values is. So I'm going to get the square root of 3 over 3 plus 1 divided by 1 minus the square root of 3 over 3 times 1. So I want to simplify that and I'm going to do it in baby steps so that everybody can follow along. So the numerator I need to find a common denominator. So I'm going to get the square root of 3 plus 3 over 3. Same thing with the denominator. I need to find a common denominator. So I'm going to get 3 minus the square root of 3 all over 3. So when I do that, does that simplify anything kind of pretty? It does. It just becomes the square root of 3 plus 3 over 3 minus the square root of 3. Now I have a small problem, right? I've got a radical in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry it back up here to the top. I'm going to rewrite it first. So I said I had the square root of 3 plus 3 over 3 minus the square root of 3. So that means I'm going to need to rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3 plus the square root of 3. And as you look at this, what you notice is you're going to have to do a foiling on the top as well as foiling on the bottom. So I'm actually going to write out that entire step. So I'm going to get 3 square root of 3 plus what? Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3 plus 9 plus 3 square root of 3. So there's our numerator. On the bottom I'm just going to get 9 minus, those are going to cancel right because there's 1's plus and 1's minus, so I just get the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 which is just going to be 3. So now I can combine like terms and I've got 6 square root of 3 on top plus 12 over 6, well they all have a 6 in common, so I get the square root of 3 plus 2. Now remember if you write that in standard form it's going to have to be 2 plus the square root of 3. And that is your exact value.